Emily Caicedo, they work in Sun's um, evangelism team. So they which is a kind of an unusual group of people because they're they're engineers, but they're engineers with social skills. Which is which one would think is like an empty set. Um, is that it has an infrared camera on the front. And this is what you use when you're controlling a game to select things or whatever, in order to point it at the screen and then be able to move the mouse cursor around on the screen. Because the infrared camera can track the position of up to four points of infrared light. And so you have this thing called a sensor bar, which is not a sensor bar, which has infrared LEDs in it that you can then um, use to track the position of the remote control. Right, so first I used the sunspots, that was my first attempt, and then with this Wii Remote, we've been working on ideas of what to build, about how to create interactive uh, applications. Um, so one of the things I always uh, thought about was kids. So I have a one-year-old daughter, and I know when she's loved that actually I met it myself. Very, very simple, it's just have uh, one infrared LED, so it's able to track my hand. So if I come here, um, I have the, um, the whiteboard to draw, and I can actually go ahead and start drawing with my fingers. So this is, this is a build-it-yourself, arbitrarily large touchscreen, touch because you didn't, you didn't, I mean, that's not a touchscreen, that's just a just, piece just, of frosted glass. Exactly, and yesterday, for example, we have our buff, where we actually discussed the technical part of these demos, and I didn't want to move the glass because I broke already once, so I didn't want to risk it, so I just used a wall in, in the room, so you could basically can project on any, any particular surface and just use the glove to to manipulate and to create a touch, a touch screen. Right, you just, you just project the image on the wall, and that's hit the calibration it. points with, the, with your glove, with your... Yeah, have your kid drawing everywhere, doing a mess, and just turn it off the application, and that's it. Um, so a few things that I... Uh, so everything, all the interface is created on JavaFX. Um, so for example, uh, I try to make it as clean as possible, but you can actually get the tools as you want it. So if you want to change the color, you just get the palette. Again, very nice effect with JavaFX. You have the, the, the ripple that gives you an idea of where you're touching, because it's really kind of hard to know where you are. Uh, so you can pick the color and just go away, go again and start drawing. And at any time you can clean the screen, that's also very useful. Let's go back to different colors, and then you can also manipulate uh, how big you want the lines, so you can make it thicker, so it's easier for you to actually visualize what I'm drawing here. Um, you can actually also mix colors, so you can get a palette, like a, you know, you're really painting. So I can get the color purple, for example, and you can mix it with white, and you just use the palette for doing the combination of the two colors. In JavaFX, this is just an intersection of two shapes that you created. So it's actually a pretty simple to in JavaFX. And again, you just now have your new um, color. Um, and then finally, uh, let me clean one more time. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's clean up a little bit. And let me pick the blue color. Blue is kind of a nice color. And now let's draw a big tube. One of the things that I love about JavaFX, among many things, is how you can actually uh, animate. Let me just try to do something longer. Animate your, your components very, very easily. So what I'm doing is I'm actually kind of creating a tube. And then I'm going to have an object and being animated. So for example, I can get a ball, and it can just be animated through the path I just created. And unfortunately, the path finished, so kind of the ball drops mm. and goes away. So. <laughs> this is one of my favorite sort of examples of hammer technology.